Oh, do it again. Try again. All station. Focus a little bit. Calm, Jack. USS Gunston Hall departs Norfolk for NATO Exercise Steadfast Defender 2024. Norfolk, Virginia, the Whidbey Island class dock landing ship USS Gunston Hall, LSD 44, departed Naval Station Norfolk, January 24, for Steadfast Defender 2024, NATO's largest exercise in decades. Exercise Steadfast Defender will involve approximately 90,000 forces from 31 allies in Sweden. Steadfast Defender 2024 will validate NATO's ability to deploy forces rapidly from North America and other parts of the alliance to reinforce the defense of Europe, and it will showcase NATO's ability to conduct and sustain complex multi-domain operations over several months, across thousands of miles, and in any conditions, from the high north to central and eastern Europe. The departure and transit signify the first tactical movements of the exercise and demonstrate the strength of the transatlantic link, said Vice Admiral Doug Perry, Commander, Joint Force Command Norfolk, and U.S. Second Fleet. Working with our allies and partners, Gunston Hall will embark Swedish and Finnish forces, who will conduct amphibious landings throughout Norway. I am also sending a contingent of my U.S. Second Fleet staff to Norway to command and control NATO maritime forces as Task Force North. These efforts clearly demonstrate North America's commitment to NATO. For the last several years, Joint Force Command Norfolk and U.S. Second Fleet joined other NATO commands planning, Steadfast Defender 24. The alliance will demonstrate its ability to reinforce the Euro-Atlantic area via transatlantic movement of forces from North America, said General Christopher Cavalli, Supreme Allied Commander Europe. Steadfast Defender 2024 will be a clear demonstration of our unity, strength, and determination to protect each other, our values and the rules-based international order. Royal Canadian Navy Rear Admiral David J. Patchell, Vice Commander, U.S. Second Fleet, who will be forward deployed supporting the exercise, visited Gunston Hall days prior to the ship's departure to discuss the upcoming NATO exercise and its importance to U.S. Second Fleet's readiness to defend allies and partners. This crew's preparations and their journey across the Atlantic represent the starting point of this historic NATO exercise, Patchell said, demonstrating NATO's ability to rapidly deploy forces from North America and other parts of the alliance. Gunston Hall will represent the U.S. Navy and is an essential element of the multinational NATO amphibious force. Gunston Hall is one of the most versatile amphibious platforms in the U.S. Navy. With two large helicopter landing pads, the largest well deck in the fleet and troop berthing facilities, she has the ability to embark a diverse array of military forces, including NATO allies and partners when needed. Gunston Hall sailors are looking forward to the experiences involved in operating overseas and working closely with our allies said Commander Christopher W. Van Lonen, commanding officer of Gunston Hall. The conversation with the Rear Admiral Patchell gave us insight into why exercises like this one are so important and how important it is to keep our ship battle ready. This year marks NATO's 75th anniversary, with a defensive alliance that has grown from 12 to 31. For 75 years, NATO allies have worked together to keep our 1 billion people safe, Perry said. In this moment where we face the most dangerous and unpredictable security environment, Steadfast Defender sends a clear message, NATO is capable, modern, and if required, ready to defend every inch of allied territory. U.S. Second Fleet, re-established in 2018 in response to the changing global security environment, develops and employs maritime forces ready to fight across multiple domains in the Atlantic and Arctic in order to ensure access, deter aggression and defend U.S., allied, and partner interests. Hello, I am Vice Admiral Doug Perry, Commander of Joint Force Command Norfolk in the United States Second Fleet. And I wanna to talk to you today about NATO Exercise Steadfast Defender 2024. Exercise Steadfast Defender is the largest NATO exercise in decades, with 90,000 personnel taking part from all 31 allied nations and Sweden. The vast scale of this exercise will occur over several months and across thousands of kilometers of ocean and NATO territory. Steadfast Defender will provide a clear demonstration of NATO's determination to defend allied territory and our collective resolve in this dangerous and more unpredictable world. Operations have begun with the departure of our Whidbey Island class dock landing ship USS Gunston Hall as she transits across the Atlantic 
The departure and transit signify the first tactical movements of the exercise and demonstrate the strength of the transatlantic link. Working with our allies and partners, Gunston Hall will embark Swedish and Finnish forces who will conduct amphibious landings throughout Norway. I am also sending a contingent of my United States Second Fleet staff to Norway to command and control NATO maritime forces as Task Force North. These efforts clearly demonstrate North America's commitment to NATO. The transatlantic link is a vital tether that unites North America and Europe in peacetime, in crisis, and in conflict. Here at Joint Force Command Norfolk and the United States Second Fleet, we are focused on and ready to secure and defend the Atlantic, NATO territory in the Arctic, and to reinforce NATO if ordered to do so. This year marks NATO's 75th anniversary with a defensive alliance that has grown from 12 to 31. For 75 years, NATO allies have worked together to keep our 1 billion people safe. In this moment where we face the most dangerous and unpredictable security environment, Steadfast Defender sends a clear message. NATO is capable, modern, and if required, we are ready to defend every inch of allied territory. Thank you.